Um, before we get going, here's the hashtag for the Twitter for this evening's event. So for those who tweet, <coughs> please feel free. Um, welcome everybody. My name is John Sheehan and welcome to our event on building success. We have a huge amount to get through in a very short space of time, so appreciate everyone's efficiency. The first ones we're going to get up are the guys from Right Move, Nick McKittrick and Peter Brooks Johnson to talk about the Right Move story and how they've built their success. Then we're going to have a quick break before we come back in and have a panel Q&A session um, about what it's like to build success, what success looks like and what it's like to be in successful teams. That's going to be chaired by our very own Sean Burns. And Nick and PBJ are going to be joined by Trevor Mather, the CEO and President of ThoughtWorks, and someone who's been instrumental in helping build the ThoughtWorks brand into the global technology business that it is today, and also Richard Hill, MBE, World Cup winner, British Lion, and ambassador to the RFU Wine Club. To Nick, to PBJ, to Trev, and to Hilly, it's great to have you here. Um, we all strive for success in our, our businesses and in our teams, but we want to get to try and get to grips a little bit with these guys and ask the questions about what the ingredients are about success. What are those little things that make those teams and those companies that little bit better? We're all trying to do it in our departments, grow our brands, grow our products, etc. But what are those little things that do now? For tonight, example, this event, for it to be the success that, that we want it to be, I need your help, basically. Um, so everyone on their seats have got their question cards. What I want you to do is, is seriously think about sort of some of the questions you'd like to put to the panel, whether it be about so Nick and PBJ, particularly you know, towards their right move story, or more towards the rest of the panel about you know, those successful things that go into being that much better. My mobile is just going off. That's the wife. Apologies. Um, we have a great mixture of people tonight from various different companies. Some of them are in their, their global form, some of them are in their startups, and some are even going through that journey about just start, starting to build their own teams. So we've got a great example for us all. As far as we're concerned, the doors are closed. We're in this room. We're all one team together. So, you know, let's get involved. And so. On to our first presentation. The right move story. A bunch of people trying to make the right move. Now, this probably sums up these two quite nicely because when we were sort of coming up with the idea about what to call this, I obviously, and those people who know me, get a bit overexcited by things, so I was sending stuff out saying, I've got it, how about right move a look inside the house? And how about right move through the keyhole? <laughs> And, and the two of them sort of came back when, yeah, Baz, no, I don't think so. That's what we feel that we've done, us guys as a company, and that's what we feel quite comfortable with, quite rightly. Nick McKittrick and I go back since 1999 when he was a CTO, and his first role was CTO for a company called eLoan. I think it's fair to say that a lot of le lessons were learned in those couple of years at eLoan. Probably the biggest was, as a startup, don't give your marketing director nine million pounds to spend, because <laughs> it doesn't last that long. He's, now, he's been uh, was one of the original management team to Rightmove and has held such positions as CTO, MD, FD, and CRO at the moment. Now, how would I describe Nick to you? Let's say Bern Sheehan become a global brand. And I, Sir John Sheehan, take over from Lord Sugar as, the, as running The Apprentice. Nick will be my guy in week 12, the interview week. He's the one who gets into people on the interview. So I've gone through every different emotion with candidates over the years who have been interviewed by Nick, from that total elation to that utter confusion. He doesn't like the limelight very much. For those of you who have tried to look him up on LinkedIn, you'll know that he's actually not on there. And even in his company's biggest day in their history so far, when they, when they floated on the London Stock Exchange, there you'll find Nick right at the back, keeping out of the spotlight. PBJ and I have known each other for six years. And I can't help but think tonight, 
the shoe is on the other foot for the two of us because over the last six years, there's been a number of times where PBJ has called me and said, Baz, we, we need to find someone. Come over, let's have a chat about what we're looking for. And I can see some nods from some ex-right movers over there. So I, I go into a meeting with PBJ and he said, I'm, I'm kind of looking for someone who's technically aware but not technical, someone with good product experience, a bit of marketing. If they could come from a consulting background, that'd be good. I don't have a job spec, but, you know, I'll know it when I see them. As I have walked away totally confused. But I've had my own back, because you can imagine the last I've had over the last three days when PBJ has been texting me going, what is it exactly you want for tonight? <laughs> we are hugely proud to be associated with Rightmove right from the very beginning to now as a thriving FTSE 250 company. Um, a few things that haven't changed in that time are these guys' passion for the company that they work for and the people within it. I myself, as my, in my journey, have learned a great deal from the two of them, both in terms of my own sort of career development and that as a business owner. And this, quite simply, is their story today. Cheers, guys.